understand the words and gain the knowledge from the Quran journey. Suratul Humaza. Attack by words. When Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam became a prophet, the poor and general people started to accept Islam. But the rich people and the leaders of Mecca did not like that. They thought that the new poor Muslims would not respect or follow their orders anymore, and the poor Muslims would only follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So to stop spreading Islam, at first the Quraysh leaders and the rich people started to insult the Muslims openly. Later, they were even spreading lies about the Prophet and Islam. At that time, the Muslims were suffering physically and mentally. And to give them comfort, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent Suratul Humaza. In our society, some people do many evil things, and usually, everyone knows that their action is very bad. But generally, in this world. Those people sometimes don't get punishments. So in this surah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala warned them about their painful punishments in the day of judgment. Surah Al Humaza shows us three most harmful evil actions in our society. One of the evil actions is to insult someone openly. The people might insult a poor or weak person, or they can laugh or say bad things about the other person's weaknesses. Sometimes we see rich people thinking that with their money and wealth, they can earn all kinds of power and respect, so they can be very rude and insult the other people openly. And the second bad action is backbiting or hateful talk behind someone's back, like calling someone with. Bad names to hurt their feelings, or to spread some scandals and lies to break the friendship between people. In Islam, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives very important lessons to build human relationships. One of the main goals in Islam is to establish brotherly relationships with one another, because without this, we cannot have a peaceful society. That's why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that all Muslims are brothers and sisters, and if we don't respect, love, or keep good relationships with each other, we can't be good Muslims. So the first two bad actions were to insult someone openly and spread scandals or lies behind someone's back to break friendships with each other. One day, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was passing by two graves. Suddenly. He stopped there. He told his sahabas that they were getting punished in their graves. He also mentioned that one of them was getting the punishment for backbiting because he broke friendships between people. That's why we always have to be careful about what we say so other people don't get hurt. We should respect each other and protect everyone's secrets. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions the third bad action. Some people are very crazy to be rich. They're always thinking of ways to become richer, while at the same time they're not giving their zakat properly. They don't even spend their money for any good reasons, and they don't donate any of their money to the poor people or any Islamic work. They think that their money will stay with them forever, and they can buy their good health and live for a long time. With their money, so they are very busy to earn that money, and they forget that very soon their time will end. But because everyone has to die, they cannot use their money or wealth to save themselves. After thinking these bad people will get very painful punishment for their bad actions on this earth. They think that they are very powerful and they can do whatever they want because of their money. Because of their arrogance on the day of judgment, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will throw them into the fire. And the fire is so strong that it will crush and break them into pieces. 
This is a very powerful fire because Surah al Humaza is the only place in the whole Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called this the fire of Allah. And it shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets very angry when someone becomes proud and arrogant for their money and wealth. Human pride. Arrogance or bad thoughts comes from their evil hearts. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's fires will burn those evil hearts. After they are thrown into the powerful fire, hell will be closed and there will not be a single gap or hole to be covered. Inside the hellfires, the flames will be so big that it will be like giant pillars and the bad people will be tied to those pillars of fires. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to stay away from these three bad actions. Ameen. Important facts of Surah Al-Humaza Number one, Humaza means attack by words. Number two, the name Humaza comes from the first sentence of the surah. Number three, this surah was sent in Mecca within the first three years of Islam. Number four, this surah tells us about the three big major sins in Islam, insult, backbiting, and being crazy for money. Number five, these three kinds of evil acts can make the people's hearts very ugly. Number six, we should not be crazy for money. Number seven, we should spend our money in good ways by giving to the needy and good causes. And number eight, we need to be careful about what we say with our mouth and tongue. So with all of this Quranic information, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us understand the lessons of Surah Al-Humaza and apply the lessons into our life. Amin. Join us in this great dawa work and get countless of rewards during the month of Ramadan by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter and inshallah Allah will give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Zazakallah and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are safe during this time. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.